Once it all in, we'll do. I'll set up the um, the hot bar buttons and shit like that. Make sure everybody's sheets are correct and everything works. And then we'll do a recap, and then we'll uh, take it from there. Hello there. The, the young Master Roshi. Master Roshi. <laughs> Wait, for some reason, my volume is too low. So, as I was saying, then, once everyone's in, I'll get used to assigning the macros to your hotbar and just check everything works for everybody's sheets and all that, and then we'll do a recap and then we'll start. Because Alan should know how to navigate everything since he plays a uh, hero quest in this, but we as well just do it once with everyone. I've never used uh, Foundry. How are robes made here? Um, so you can type into the chat the same as you would do Roll20, but I've got a bunch of macros set up so you can do it that way. Which we'll configure once Nightbear gets on. Who has two minutes before I start doing it without him? I really enjoyed listening back to last season one. Like sometimes the RPG sessions are kind of you end up skipping a lot of it because you're like, oh, this bit didn't go very well, or oh, this bit was just like dragged out. But I actually really enjoyed listening to the whole of that one. Yeah, overall, it's a it's a really interesting campaign. Because when you were like, oh, everyone's at your throats, and I was like, I was only two episodes in, and it's like, everyone's like really getting along, and it's fine, and then it like said <laughs> the fucking seeds of distrust. And by the time it was episode, I think it was like nine, everybody was like ready to stab each other. I couldn't get yeah. back to it. I hate the way I sound on mic. I used to be like that, maybe you get used to it. I was skipping a bunch of it, just. Trying to hit the highlights. Yeah, I understand that. I, I used to be unbearable when I started, but like, you just. Your mind just blanks out after a while. I was fucking laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> when I, was listening, I was like, Jesus Christ, I'm so funny. I don't know, I feel like the mic makes me sound like a lot, like way too young. I think it's I think it's a good thing for everybody to uh, get accustomed to hearing their voice to be other people hear it. Unfortunate necessity. A necessary evil. I, I I heard I didn't realize it was the background music at first. I thought it was like, who's who's trying to open Jumanji? Here's the question: Why is fees icon so fucking weird looking? Foundry's pretty. It, it's pretty good. Rolling dice is just as easy as it would be in Roll Twenty, really. Uh, see now that I am comfortable with Foundry, there is no way I would fucking go back. Yeah, and and this. The sessions we played, the dice are a lot more fair in this than they seem to be in Roll20. Yeah, I mean, I, I I imagine they must be using a different math library, or maybe it's just a perception, I don't know. Yeah, as, as a pain in the art, unless you're playing D or D or Pathfinder, it is a cunt to get it set up initially. Especially you're doing like a different game system, you have to fucking program your own stuff. I'm just fortunate that I quite enjoyed doing that stuff. But once it's all set up and you're ready to go, man, it's just... Having everything on your own fucking computer locally, instead of having to upload it all, and shit like that, and use their terrible organisation system, is just so much better. Also, I, I don't know if it's only me, but uh, the whole interface and, and the map uh, looks and feels smoother than World Oh, well, I mean, optimization wise yes, it's much better. It's not letting me uh, roll. Well, you're not going to need to do it that way. So now that everyone is here, and I think everyone's in, yes. You're muted, Alan, but just in case you didn't know, by the way. Yeah, I know I'm muted. Okay, so um, on the right hand side there, the top icon is the chat log, and you'll need that to see what people roll and what you're typing. Uh, you can just double click on the title bar of it to minimize it when you've got it open though. Uh, if you go down a couple of icons uh, to like the person icon, it says actors. That will be your character sheet you can open up. You can just drag your character sheet from that directory onto your hotbar at the bottom of the screen. 
so you can just one click open up. Also on the left hand side of the hotbar is a directory icon and if you click on that it opens up the directory for all the macros. All the macros that are listed under hotbar macros you can drag them to your hotbar and they are going to be macros for rolling an approach, doing your defense roll, making an attack roll, making a gut check roll, making a cast a spell roll. The sheet macros you don't need to touch. Uh, you'll be able to activate them from your sheet. How do you get the macros to go down there? On the left hand side of your hotbar. There's like collapse macro hotbar and browse macro directory. It's like okay, a browse folder directory. icon. Yeah, in there. And you can drag them out from the hotbar macros. Whichever order you want them in. And then finally on the right hand side, uh, there's a book icon, it's a journal. And I don't know if you need to look at these, but one, the one is tags and qualities, and it's got spells as well. All listed in case you're like leveling up and you need to look at them, or if you want to look at the description of what the qualities you have to if you've forgotten. Because uh, at the moment on your character sheet, actually I will do this as well. Uh, your character sheet has the stats at the top, buttons for leveling up, refreshing your mana, and adding XP. Um, it's kind of slow to reload the sheet after you make changes on it usually, so a lot of time you need to close the sheet open again after you've done something for it to show. Your health bar there is going to go down as you add wound, pain, and distress, just so you've got a visual representation. Uh, your gold is an editable text box you can edit. Uh, the character tab is your race, your drives, your backgrounds. I've had to um, merge some backgrounds for a couple of people, just as something that kind of like fitted. But I mean, it shouldn't make much difference anywhere. The qualities tag one is just a big list of your qualities, your tags, your spells. I'm going to change that so that they're all like different items and then when you click on them you can see the description of them, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, gear again is just a list of the stuff you've got. Uh, if you hover over the uh, the text for qualities and tags or gear, there'll be like an icon on the right hand side for editing it. If you need to make changes. And then the last tab is your health, and this is be stress, pain and wounds. Those are going to be items that you will drag onto your sheet and it will just pop them in there and you can just like remove them as you heal. So you'll notice everyone has a stress just now and I'll, that'll explain that why we would start. Uh, Shika, you had two stress on your sheet already anyway so I've left them in there because you won't have a chance to heal them yet. Uh, if you make a cast a spell roll with the macro... Well actually if somebody could make a, a defense roll or something just so I can make sure it's reading off your sheet because I've got it reading off the token I've got selected because obviously I'm not you and, um, I'm not, and I'm not like linked to a fucking character Do I have armor? Uh, I'm clicking it but it's not bowling the bowl I'm clicking the hotbar It opens a little um, window you gotta check to see your things Open the well, it should open. if you have a character associated with your guy, your like account. But for me, I'd have to drag out your token, have your token highlighted, and then press it for it to work for me. It's what Razzies works. Oh, I didn't, I didn't do that. I, like you didn't, like I didn't know what that was about, so I just minimized that page. Okay. Just to make sure I was reading it from your sheets and stuff. Wait, so where was it over the vent side? Where was the what? Uh, where was the part where we will defense? Uh, the Somewhere macros. Else. Did you drag all the macros over? Uh, so at, at the heart bar at the bottom, that little was... folder looking thing? On the left side of it? The active title macros. Uh, browse macro directory. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so at the bottom you see like, you want 1 through 10 heart bar. On the left hand side you get the browse macro directory. Open it up. Oh, right, okay. okay. Yeah, and, and then under Hopper Macro, those. there's five of them, I think. And you just right. drag them on. Yeah. Yeah, five, and they got the seat macros for the add XP level up. Yeah, you don't up. want to put the. Well, I mean, you could put the seat macros on your Hopper if you want. But to access it without thought... being on your sheet, but they're, they're just used by the buttons on the sheet anyway. But, uh, for some reason, I thought it was hidden in the Wii Compendium packs, but on the right hand side. Before. No, that's used for. Right. Um, 
Game systems will use that because that allows you to transfer it between different like game saves. Right. That is also where I first look <laughs> from when we played Invasion. I'm glad it wasn't just me then. Yeah, I was like, I was like in the journal entry, he's like, what? where is that? <laughs> yeah, no, that's, I mean, there should be a way to hide that as a GM, really. But um, that's more for me to like drag them over from different systems and shit like that. I just might not have done it for now. But yeah, if you use the cast a spell and just watch because your mana will go down when it casts it automatically. Uh, I've got them on my bar, but I can't actually do anything with them now. So how does it add a wound? Because I've all my defense in. So I've got wounds, wound, pain, so. and stress as items. So, um, I don't know if you can see them. Uh, let me make this viewable. Uh, the items, which is like a luggage icon on the right hand side, they, they will be viewable in there in a second. And oh, you'll okay. just you just drag them over onto your sheet to like, take them. Uh, mine only shows, when I open the items directly, it only shows pain and stress. Yeah, because I only just added that I think, that I think he's at, yeah, he's, he's added oh, hey. right It's, uh, exactly as it should be. Me failing the broad spell roll. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, the thing with your one, birds, everyone else is at level four, almost level five. You're at level two. Yeah. I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> so I'm going to give you five XP so you can level up to level three, and you could take another tag quality or bump uh, your stats. What was it? I feel like I was taking ages of deciding stuff, but I think I would have still leveled up. Yeah, well, you hadn't on your sheet, it was still at level 2, so you can go up to level 3. If you click the level up button, it should amend the XP and raise your level for you. I mean, if anybody should be a high level, it should be the guy failing all his spellcasting rolls. Yeah. Didn't we well, stop doing We that? weren't doing that, though, we were only doing end of session XPs. Oh! Don't make me go back and listen to all the endings again and make sure you hadn't got too much XP, because I can't be fucked with that. Didn't we still get it though? When uh, I thought we were getting XP when when our, one of our backgrounds applied or something. No, it should only be intercession stuff. Huh. Yeah, uh, when you complete on your drives at intercession, you can get an XP. Yeah, I oh, actually, okay. yeah, yeah. I had myself <laughs> level three and eight experience on my last sheet. Maybe I didn't update it the last one. Uh, send me the one that you've got then, if that's more recent. Yeah, I'm Discord, yeah. still not linked to. I thought that had yeah. been updated. Yours, well. I think I'm not linked to my character because it's not. Did you? Did it ask you to link to your character when you logged in? Uh, when you first, when you first that save configuration. Save configuration. You just had to click your character name and hit save configuration, and that links. Yeah, you I did that, but it's still not doing anything. And that screen's not. No, because for some reason Shiki is linked to Phil. So let me just change that. Uh, <laughs> Just checking what I've got different. I took he the spell to magic apparently. You may need to reload the the tab island, but if you reload, it should be fine. Let me just check birds here. Oh, this must have been from a wee while back, because I had that wee copper charm in my uh my inventory as well. Hey, let me just copy this one over for you then. Yeah, because you had I wasn't really sure what was going on because I wasn't really looking at my screen, but I kept seeing shit moving in the corner of my eye. And I thought there was like a bug on my screen or something, but it's just you guys moving your mouse or something, I guess. <laughs> and like, there's like little words written next to it. <laughs> oh, you had a bunch of stuff. What's this damage? So you had the pain, that'll be gone. You had the pain, that'll be gone. That's the pain that's gone. That's the pain that's gone. So, did you not have permanent wind that went heal? Uh, I thought that that was what uh, Gin took the moved. But maybe I misinterpreted that. No, that's fine. I'll take that off your sheet then. That makes sense. Right, and then your stats are 2 and 0, minus 1, minus 1. Two and zero, so you didn't raise the stat anyway. 
And you've how do I copy? Me. How do I bring my character sheet down to the hotbar? Uh, so when you've got to open in the directory part, you can just like you should be able to just drag it down from there onto the hotbar. Uh, it's not letting me. Sixty-five gold. It's kind of funny seeing just my bar half filled with pain. I think that was all from Gintuk. Gintuk's a good person, you know? Yeah, I mean, he was helping. Okay, so you should Allegedly. be able to yeah. jam. Yeah, Lord Stavenbach was a good goblin, you could say. Okay, uh, did everything yeah. look okay to everyone else's? I think so. Yeah, so most of the time, if you're going to make attack roll, you do the attack roll macro. If you're rolling defense, you roll defense one. And the approach one for everything else. If you have to put in a negative modifier when it says other mods, you just put like minus one. Otherwise, it'll take as a positive. That should be only rolls me to do. If you need to roll a 1d4 or something like that, you can just do slash r space 1d4 on chat and it will roll it for you. But I mean, I think it's only the healer that's going to really need to do that now and again. Right, where's my notes? So many notes. Let's see. Okay, so after the former season. Uh, Drac was taking a tablet to Professor Totnu at the Cagney State University. On his way there, he ran into Jamu, who was a dryad escaping from the Feywild, which was dying to demons and corruption and fire, and her herself was uh, infected by it. There was a demon incursion that the Abbey clan had to deal with, and Shiki was sent to the Northern Continent to liaison with the Resistance there and see if they needed any aid. So that was his excuse for being there. Uh, meanwhile, Fee was taken from the cube by the Minotaur Razaluro in Grintuk uh, towards Nightcross. And eventually these guys all kind of met up after uh, visiting Totnu at the university and taking on the quest to find uh, any other tablets they could to the south. The idea was that um, uh, Drakan's clan or Drakan's contact at the time, as it was put, may or may not know the location of one of the tablets. So you were going off to investigate that in the first instance. Ashiki also had Naoki with him, who was seasick the entire way. Uh, they made their way south to Nightcross, they met up with Raz and Fee, and then you all started travelling east across the Nightcross, where you had to fight some demons, you into a corrupted forest. Um, does Jam still have the the seed that she was given in that forest from the elf? Didn't we try to plant it under the uh, the goblin runes, and I tried to like infuse magic into it, and the goblin rune kind of rejected it? Maybe that was because I was listening to it and I was like, when was that? Did that get used? Because um, I thought it had, but I couldn't remember. I... When. I think that was it. Like, we tried to... Or I tried to... Uncorrupt like, the forest, the power, yeah. Yeah, of the goblin runes to restore the place. And that did not go well. Okay, well, if it didn't go well, that probably explains what happened. Um, so after that, she's headed to a town on the head of the river. What's the name is here? Manfad. And when you were there, uh, Shiki discovered that his father had been killed in the battle with the uh, the orc demons as had many other people as the orc army kind of like swarmed its way through and uh, speaking of swarms at that point there was a swarm of scarabs coming from the east that descended on the town and they killed uh, this guy who was worshipping Malekith uh, right in front of you all but you managed to get away you jumped on the boat of an Azote traveller who was heading back home uh, Mandala and you spent some time on his boat as his guests going south. You learned that the Azote had a tablet that was stolen from them, much as Shiki's clan had a tablet stolen from them in the past. 
and clues from what he was saying led uh, Drac to believe that it may have definitely been one of the ninja clans that stole it. Probably his own. He spent some time in his city. Fee made love to an old woman. There was um, a lot of PvP. Uh, and the, the grand tournaments where he's all like had your fights, except Shiki and Drac who just refused to fight. And then afterwards, Mandala had to settle some blood debts because of matters of honor. And uh, he, was, he took you off into the desert so you could investigate the place where the Zotis tablet of enchantment was originally stolen from. And uh, Drac was able to determine at that point that it was uh, one of the ninja clans that had indeed stolen it. Um, a swarm of scarabs descended and passed over again. Uh, Mandala took off to kind of act as a decoy and then double back to the city to tell the other Zoti that the scabs were kind of heading west. That was the last time you saw him. You had already left Nalki at the port city on the river before you went into the desert and he was going with some desert travellers who were going to definitely quickly, safely take him to um, a town where he could like get paid eventually for all these troubles. And that was the last time you saw him. You then finish making your way across the desert to a town which is not marked in this map um, on the river towards the Merrill at Kilfet, the, the Gota River. Can't remember exactly what happened in that town. You, just, you saw some healers and bought some stuff, I think. Um, and Drac made some contacts with people for his clan and it seemed like things were amiss. When you did go to the, the Black Dragon Clan's home village, um, things were definitely not as they should have been. The leadership had swapped out Drax, sort of competition, not really a nemesis, but your rival in the clan. Um, he was like warning you all that it was dangerous and things were afoot. And it turned out they had been enchanted by their rivals, the Shadow Clan, who had then uh, stolen the other, the other uh, tablet off of them. So presumably the Shadow Clan have both tablets at the moment and they're using the enchantment tablet for all sorts of nefarious purposes. Grinthook was revealed as a Lord Ninja. Fee started revealing powers related to dragons because you uncovered in the desert uh, the mosaic, which was the story of ancient dragons fighting, and there was minotaurs portrayed. Um, also, Raz has kind of hit the revelation that it's time of the minotaurs to rise up and uh, kick all the foreigners out of the land. As well as him somehow spreading the word of Malekith. I'm not sure why he's doing that, but that was a thing. I don't know. I think it was just misunderstanding. Sure. As was you buying a cursed item at the time before you went to the Dragon Clan and then making a blood sacrifice in Malekith's name while you were in the Dragon Clan's village. It's okay. Grin Grintook survived that. Uh-huh. I think. Was there any other aspects people remember or want to bring up? I think I've covered the main parts. What else had happened? You'd heard that Elimic, his army, had moved to the cube and destroyed it. Half of the companies, the mercenary companies were destroyed and half of them joined his army. Uh, the only thing, it wasn't like both the tablets that were here now gone. I remember right. Yeah, so the Black Dragon Clan had the tablet. They had made or tried to broker a peace with their rivals, the Shadow Clan. But the Shadow Clan used the enchantment tablet to enchant the Black Dragon Clan. So they now have both tablets, presumably. But uh, Strack killed the enchanted leader who became temporarily unenchanted because of you guys of the Black Dragon Clan. But the rest of the Black Dragon Clan are still enchanted. And is it do, we, do we know now uh, who took the leadership uh, from the Dragon Clan? Well, it was a Mato that had taken leadership of the Black Dragon Clan, but um, they are being controlled by the Shadow Clan, and you do not know who is in charge of the Shadow Clan. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, I forgot that uh, at the last episode, uh, uh, Marta uh, died, yeah. so we still don't know who took the leadership. Of, yeah, of you had the Marta kind of unenchanted, uh, but held 
stationary. I think it was like a binding talisman from Shiki that held him. But Drac decided to just fucking one shot him before he left anyway. <laughs> Let's see, Drac also gave the location of, or the rough location of the Shadow Clan to the Azoti when he was there. Uh, Drac was warned by the Princess Lura, the Shadow Princess of the Fae, to be wary of Fee because he is in opposition to his darkness, when that's the light dark thing that he's know about. What else do we have here? So many reasons to trust everybody around here. Well, I mean, most of it being kind of brought into the open and resolved, I think. Obviously, Except for you, the Malachi, Christopher. you and um, Desmond, your rival from Black Dragon Clan, who was with you when you escaped. I mean, yous are, yous follow the, the Black Dragon, Oya Uruk, the Shadow Dragon, you know, the Shadow Realm, Darkness and all that kind of stuff. Which is an opposition to the light, which is fee. He's also uh, had the revelation that Desmond was there with the other members of the Black Dragon Clan when they slaughtered Fee's village and stole stuff from them. The the armor of his master included, which he now has. And pretty much all of it. Uh, fee had some visions about Lin that he'd escaped or was supposed to escape his village with. And obviously you had like the white dragon mirror and that kind of stuff leading up to you discovering you had the, the ability to walk through reflections. Yeah, does anyone have any questions so far? No, I'm good. No? Okay. So we are going to pick up about a week after you've made your escape from the Black Dragon Clan's village. You'd escape to a cave two miles south um, to just kind of group up and figure out your next step. Um, Grint took, did a little exposition dump at the end where he explained to um, Razzaluro that the dragons originally were giving the gifts of magic to the different races but the goblin stole those tablets and the secrets of magic and that's why the gab that's how the goblins became um, the predominant uh, force in the past as a powerful wizard until they had to um, bind Malekith and that kind of spent a lot of their power and that's when their empire fell about which obviously happened like hundreds of years ago but we're going to start about a week after that um, because the leader of the Black Dragon Clan was slain and because Razaluro summoned a demon in Malekith's name Malekith has been sending waves of demonic bloodhounds after you and you have been you've they have been in pursuit of you for the past week you have had very little time to rest uh, between that and constant harassment from shadow assassins popping out of nowhere um, to try and t pick you off one at a time um, the shadow walking has not really been much use to try and uh, speed up your retreat because obviously even if Drat can take you through the shadows or Desmond can take one or two of you through the shadows with them, the shadow realm is full of all these shadow assassins popping up to attack you all the time. So that's kind of hindered it. Uh, Fee's light walking ability doesn't allow him to walk through reflections with anyone else. Uh, Elark, who showed up the elf in the, uh, the mirror way, uh, he can walk through one or two of you at a time, but as he warns, people who are not trained in the mirror way it's dangerous for them to walk through the mirror way because uh, in the shadow realm when you're going through the shadow realm it's dark and you can't see where the shadows lead to which is why you need to kind of master it first but in the mirror way it's opposite you can see too much you can be distracted by reflections of things that have happened in your past uh, things that might happen in your future and uh, seeing too much can drive you insane which is why it can be dangerous to those who aren't trained so slipping through these uh, alternate realities to get where you're going quickly is not really an avenue you can take. So you've been on the run from these demon bloodhounds and uh, shadow assassins for about a week, trying to make your way south to the Merilic Caliphate's uh, Grand Bazaar, where you're hoping a trader would be able to give you an airship, or maybe you can charter um, a ship or something up from the the southern coast to take you to the Forest of Dread, which is where Drakan knows the Shadow Clan's base of operations is. However, you've also found that the Merilit's guards and patrols 
have been particularly aggressive and any time you've encountered them they have sallied forth to attack you and chased you off and you haven't really wanted, wanted to anger this quite powerful faction. Um, it's not clear if it's because they're being influenced by other events in the Shadow Clan and such, or if they are just, um, well, they, maybe they've got a bounty on you, or perhaps they're just aggressive at this time because of other things that are happening. Uh, but regardless, uh, at this point, you are about a week away. You haven't made it to the Grand Bazaar, and you have decided that you're just going to have to walk it east um, to try and find the main roads and then work your way through to the kingdom of Onisaya. Sorry, Onisaya, which is the Elvish kingdom. And then from there, work your way south to the, the Forest of Dread. So you're going to be around about here. Where Neplin is on the map. This is a very fertile land. There's lots of valleys and farmlands, forests. Um, not much in the way of dangerous wildlife. A lot of it is, you know, like I say, farmlands and villages. So there's patrols and roads and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of the wilderness is kind of being pushed back in the name of agriculture. So it's been easy going so far. But to the point now, you have come out of all of that chased and hindered as you are and you've reached like the edge of what is the landscape kind of becoming the savannah because to the the northeast is the desert and between there and here is all kind of like dried out grasslands and um, savannah with uh, kind of oddly shaped trees rocky outcrops and occasional streams and rivers but it is here finally where you uh, managed to make a short rest you all have stress because you've been harassed for so long. You've not had the opportunity to heal any stress you may have had before. But um, this is a spot where you get to where you can finally kind of sit down and gather your thoughts and decide how to proceed. Because it does not seem like going on foot as it is, is going to work. When you've got so many foes trying to attack you all the time, you're going to have to figure out a way to throw them off or deal with them before you can really progress. If I take this to this scene, and you just can take it from there. As we uh, stop for a moment, Fee uh, sits down on a piece of uh, rock, frustrated, and uh, hits the rock with his fist. For fuck's sake, is this ever gonna end? Do can uh, how much of this continent do your clan cover? Is there anywhere they can't go? I mean, there's... I don't think there's anywhere they can't go. So, Drakan, are you saying that we're gonna be followed the whole time? All the way to the part of that other side of the continent? If they want to chase us that far, yeah. That's basically what's gonna happen. Even if we do rid ourselves of the Shadow Clan... The demon hounds are never going to stop. <laughs> We've now caught Malachi's eye. It was as ugh. infernal demon tracking is much harder to banish than you'd think. Because, of course, so far, Shiki in conjunction with your own abilities, is managed to fend off, but uh, you've noticed that the waves of these hounds have been becoming greater and greater each time. And I'm not an expert in dismissing demon trails. <sighs> I say we let them uh, keep sending foes to uh, strengthen our um, resolve. At that point... Trent took, just rolls out from a shadow, dragging the body of another dead shadow assassin behind him. Well, the good news is I got dinner. <laughs> Thank you for your aid, Lord Stavenback. She actually bows a bit of respect to Grintook. He plucks a, shur a poison shuriken out of the, the assassin's eyeball. <laughs> well, 
the thing that I'm frustrated about is that these fights that we're having, they're just stupid, meaningless fights. You know what I mean? They're not even worthy of fighting us. They're too weak. That's what troubles me. Another thing, seven days, I didn't have more than one hour of sleep. I don't think any of us have had more than about two hours, Master Fee. Ugh. This is just... It, it's not the attack itself that's the threat. It's the persistence, the consistency. The Eventually, we're just no longer going to have the energy to fight back. Well, they could at least send somebody worth it to fight us. I'll take a minus one for the next uh, spell cast, Malice. And uh, while they're while they're complaining and arguing, I'm going to cast City in a bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is something you've had to do repeatedly, just to give you any sort of time. Ugh. And then I'm get... probably going to eat and go straight to sleep if uh, we really are that tired. If only we could get to a city of some kind. I don't know if we'll be Much safe easier. from the city. We wouldn't be safe from the assassins, but we would from the devil dogs. Um, the fact that we're getting attacked good. from the shadows out of nowhere and we're getting pursued. Uh, a random attack of rushing beasts. We need a resupply anyways, so... Uh, I'm out of magical ink at this point. Last, this is the last of the talismans I have available to me. Wait, so will we go into the Grand Bazaar after all? Well, I need a city that's the only one, isn't it? There's a city to the east called yeah, uh, Al Creek. Al Creek. Yeah, Al Creek. But it's a long, long way. We need to get this set as fast as possible. Drakan, since you are the main scout, you know this area well. How how many days do we have to reach, let's say, Bazaar, the city you've been talking about? I don't think we should go to the Bazaar. That would be crazy. Mm. And then this other city, that's the alternative. A week, I think. If I look at it, I couldn't really remember what the distance would be about, on the map. Yeah, o about. optimal travel speed to be about 10 days. That's a week and a half. If, or, if nothing goes wrong, which I don't see that happening. Ah. Uh, so. Fortunes look limp. So there we is. Should, we should uh, go to the bazaar and show our enemies that they can, even their uh, uh, harrying cannot hamper, uh, dampen our resolve to, to beat this quest. The bazaar yeah. is like the main city in, in the caliphate, and that's basically what my clan is based off of. So you want to go to the main city where they'll have plenty of operatives? Yes, we'll burn it down, and then there'll be no shadows for them to hide in. But we, is there a plan B? Anybody got a plan B? Could we not find a road and see if there's some other transport we can take? Yeah, we could hitchhike. Oh, I think that would put them at danger. It would be better stealing the horses or the camels or whatever they use here. I'm pretty sure the assassins would murder whoever we left, torture them for any information they could get about us, what direction we hit. Even just the direction we'd be heading. Ooh, I have an idea. Need... We're in danger if we... They already know which direction we're going as is. There's no reason for them to do that. What if we wear disguises? I hate to tell you, Raz, but it's kind of hard for someone of your particular stature to be hidden. At that point, you know as the trio of ninjas, one with a bow and arrow kind of like pulled back, another two with daggers in their hands, creeping around the bushes out just like outside the edge of your illusion. Well, it seems we've been found already, friends. No, they they won't 
fine as long as we don't go out there as I look at Raz. <laughs> Please don't go out there like last time, Sir Razzaloro. We are in need of rest. We know of your great stamina, you could go for much longer, but us. <laughs> yeah, right. But there's no point either to fight them. They're just too weak. There's no honor in that, right? But I. I don't really care if there's honor or not. Just food He's without hungry. sleep, aren't you weak I, as well? I think we've lost his argument already. That Rez just turns around, remembering that uh, Grinchuk already has one. And then, uh, just to punctuate that, there's like the chop and the spurt and the squelching, crunching sounds of a goblin hacking up and dismembering. I am a human ninja. Shiki is going to dig into his supplies. <laughs> He's been <laughs> thoroughly rationing. <laughs> I just remembered that I I have full supplies since I've just been eating our enemies, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> and whatever Grintook catches. We got to come up a way to, to get them off our trail. Or at least like even a day would make a big difference. Uh, was Desmond still with us? Yeah, I imagine he's been with you guys acting as a scout to kind of help you move along. But it's getting more and more difficult for that, as I said, because the, the shadows are full of other assassins. <laughs> Sorry, um, friends. I'm going to have to rest for a little bit. What kind of, what kind of magic or tricks or trinkets does anybody have? I think you and Desmond are the only two with any experience taking off follow-ons. Right, but if I knew what tools we had like a a on hand, maybe I could think of something. Uh, Raz will just start taking out a, a bunch of ammo from his bag, just cannonballs, bolas, and a full-size ship harpoon. It's like clink, clash, clatter on the ground as you do so. Jam anxiously looks to the side and to see if the ninjas can like hear the sound. <laughs> I feel like since they've added their boards outside, she's like doing the same. <laughs> but like, like I'm sure they know that like, we stopped in this area, but they just can't find us for whatever yeah. reason. They can like sense the magic or something. Well, unfortunately, they just followed our checks. Like, they, they know this is where we stopped at. They just don't know where we went from here. And there's no check saying we went anywhere else. So they have yeah. to know we're here somehow. Yeah, and this is, this is what's making it so hard to shake them off. Because, like, they know pretty much where you are all the time. It's just them choosing when to try and, like, make an attack on you. Right, which is why you... I was thinking... Go ahead. How long can you keep up this illusion? And how long will it take for them to leave? They won't. They won't leave. Like, we might not see them, but someone will be here. Yeah, again, for the past week, this is, I imagine this is kind of what's happened. Drax set up the, the shield. You've gotten a few hours rest, not full rest. You've fought your way out of the location and moved on again, and then just repeated that for the last seven days. So, like, I could only keep this up probably till, like, like the morning when we go to leave. Like, I'd, I'd have to recast it at that point. Yeah, because I think when you refresh mana, you had to redo it. Yeah, I had to recast it. Which means we'd have to kill who's over here and then recast it. While it won't be good for whatever travel we encounter, I feel like the only chance we really have is to try to find a caravan and steal their transport. I can't think of any other way we can shake them. Right, and why do they, why is Merlet Elephant attacking us? Uh, do, do we know? Or is there something that that might provoke them? What, what's the story? They're probably enchanted by the Shadow Clan as well, if I had to guess. Whatever leader. 
you think the whole the whole city could be enchanted? No, not the whole city. Just just leadership. That's all you need. Everyone else is just gonna follow their their orders. Like they're not gonna question it. Or at least you know, not everyone will question it. Right. Would there be the option to try and free them from the control? I mean, How is it they do that? You did. You did free watches the leader before I killed him. Technically. Was that not in short gesture of the Shiki on the ground? Could he do that again on a greater scale? If he had ink, I guess maybe. But then, like, okay, so you free you free them and. We don't have to worry about their patrols anymore, but what else does that do for us? We're leaving this area anyways, don't we? We might be able to get some help. It might get them some proper rest. Right. And Merrillet Bazaar is like two days away. We settled the matter in one day, and we are still ahead of time if we just go by foot. Wait again to give context. Like you have tried to go south to the bazaar, but you you obviously meet resistance. And any time you meet patrols or guards, they are like coming for you, and that's only going to get uh, like an order of magnitude worse as you get closer to the bazaar where they're stationed, where their capital is. Because this is a very wealthy, powerful nation with a very powerful army. Even if we do get somehow get past all the patrols through all their forces and get to the, the say, as I said, there's probably about a dozen, half a dozen key figures there, but we'd never make it to even one of them to uh, de enchant them. Uh, Again, and that's, not, and that's under the assumption that they are enchanted. They might just be paying them. They might just to be do bribed this. or paid off. How do we know who's been enchanted? It's not easy to. Uh, that's, I don't think that's an option. Going back is not an option. So, in the Excellent end, car. all we can do is go east. We just have to keep fleeing. Yes. Right, so that's why we need a, some kind of plan to get them off our tail for at least a day. Something, so we can make a, we can cover our tracks somehow or do something. Even Jam's suggestion with. Lady Jam's suggestion that we procure ourselves a carriage of some kind, speed up our hate, our pace. But I, I refuse to resort to theft. What if we, uh, so wait, you're saying we just need a distraction of some kind? We need, we need a way for yeah. them not to track us for, for a little bit so that we can lose we can lose them. I'll make them lose our trail somehow. Like Grant Turk is like whistling and he's got like the torso of the ninja roasting over the spit. He's just like throwing handfuls of salt over it. Jesus Christ. Even with the um, distraction, we need to increase our, sp our speed. It would do, do us little good. They travel much faster than we do as a group. Wait, I, I keep forgetting, but Grant Turk, you're, you're an experienced. Well, a Dagon clan lord, aren't you? Do you not have any ideas? Yeah, I mean, me and Raz could leave the rest of you here. <laughs> I yeah, lost any or everybody and leaving was also an option I considered, but not one <laughs> I took. I mean, I don't want to be too blunt again, Jam, but I don't give a shit about you guys. <laughs> Yeah, and Jam, I'm surprised you call this son of a bitch a lord. Now that's funny. Man, he really turned cynical on us, didn't he? Okay, so if you want to run off with the Minotaur again, if you want free, I, I don't think he's being any help at the moment either. You hear that, Raz? He doesn't want us here. Let's go! But, but we haven't been paid yet. <sighs> you just hear the creak, creak as he turns the spit. I'm also going to eat my personal rations instead of whatever that is that he's making. 
Uh, I think I'm gonna go to sleep. No one, no one's adding anything to this discussion. Uh, at that point, uh, Raz will uh, turn out a a severed minotaur horn that's just been fashioned into a horn. I wonder if we could use this to call for aid. See if there's any uh any other uh minotaurs nearby. And would they not be against us? For what oh, reason? You use... I mean, why you not use that is it? And who'd why be paying them? Keep doing silence in the same time. Sorry. Uh, Raz, Raz, why would you assume that they would be on our side? We are currently what surrounded by enemies in constant pursuit and chase. Be because they're minotaurs. I knew that was going to be his answer. <laughs> Raz scratches his head. What, I'm going to ask the party as well. What happened a few days ago the last time when Raz insisted on blowing the horn? Raz doesn't remember. <laughs> Yeah, I stuck one of my sleeping talismans onto his back and he fell asleep before he, he vigorously tried to blow on it. So... I just remember. What did, what did happen? A very far-fetched idea, but... These, uh... When she points to the, like, the ninjas, like, looking for us at the moment, if we somehow manage to like, get them on our side, like if Shiki could brainwash them or something, then could they mislead the rest of the clan? I'm going to bring up that three days ago we captured one before tried this, and they immediately assassinated the guy we just liberated, de-enchanted. Yeah, I'm going to say... From your limited experience as well, although you can like you seem can. to break the enchantment, you're not sure how long it would last for because it's obviously a very old and powerful magic that's done it. Yeah, you got to remember that the enchantment only lasts as long as the talisman will, uh, depending on the strength. Which, assuming this is it all from the tablet of enchantment, it's ancient magic, very powerful. We've not only had any length of experience on how much, how long these the disenchantment lasts. Then I'm quite sure of ideas. I seem to just be running in circles with these ideas every night, every chance we get to rest. It's the sound of a ding 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 as uh, Grant Took rings the little dinner bell he's somehow managed to procure. Who wants uh, it? I do. I do. Just how you like it. Raw. I'm going to be taking my rest now. If you could ask the everyone, please keep the noise down a little. Yeah, we will go to rest as well. And Jam will do the same. Is anyone taking watch? I guess since, to? Uh, Raz is the least tired, uh, he'll take watch. Okay, do a slash R2D6. Oh good, I get a pick one. Hmm. Are you resting as well, Drac? Yeah, I want to sleep a while ago while they were still... Trying to think of okay, something. so use a little bed down just to try and get a couple hours again because this is all you're getting like each night. Raz, you're sat up, Grant Hook, the two of you kind of munched on this dead person. And Grant Hook sat there with his legs up um, and his little fork just like chewing away and he just seems quite content. He's used to this, this sort of life. And as you're like sitting there chowing down and just wondering, would he even notice if you picked up the horn and gave it a blow? Uh, a portal begins to open and you've seen this happen numerous times in the last few days and the portal just opens up like right in the middle of the camp 
and you hear the sniffing and the growling of the demon hound as it kind of just comes slowly crawling out of midair. But you have the jump on it, so what do you want to do? It's only one, though. At um, the moment. I'm going to pick it up and try to throw it back through the portal and tell it to bring more. So you want to grab it and throw it back through the portal? Yes. How do you manage to surprise me every time? That's what it looked like. Sure. So that's going to be a forceful roll, I guess. An attack or an approach? It'd be an approach. Would I have advantage? Am I uh, stronger than it is? Sure. Yes, before, and you can hear the others, like, on the other side of the portal, uh, and you see the energies kind of manifesting before they pop through as well. But you manage to run forward and grab it bodily and just, like, flip it over backwards into the portal. But through the portal, you can see there's, like, a, a pack of them. And, of course, throwing it through the portal doesn't close the portal. So what do you do? I guess I'll uh, get my axe and uh, how how many do I see? Probably close to a dozen. Huh. I don't know, Grintook. Do you think I can take him? He's like still stuffing his face. Like, oh, take what? Those and just point through the portal. Ow, oh, ow, oh, shit! Bleh, bleh. He's like dropping things and kicking over his drink, looking for a little dinner bell, and he starts like ringing it as hard as he can. People just in mid sleep uh, shout, I don't want to eat your fucking flesh, humans. Ugh. She gives her this bell, vigorous bell ringing before, and not really sleeping that well. Did all the stress and tiredness jumps off. It's like, oh god, not again. <sighs> I was in Grant Hook's dance club. There was just a noise as well, though. Yeah, the, I'm worried because it's you. It's like, like that demon paranoia. It's like, oh god, please really? don't let it be a false alarm. Please, sorry, please let it be a false alarm. I can't believe I'm hoping the goblins pranking me. <sighs> as he's trying to shout like, through uh, his mouth full of dead person. It's like, mmm, demons, demons! Shit. Glorious, uh, Then you just hear Rouse to shout glorious bloodshed. So Shiki's gonna slap himself awake and then uh, run towards the portal, try and start closing it. Sounds like a quick roll. Oh! Amazing. Do you have a background Shiki's... of, like, your needle? Uh professional being a professional demon hunter yeah i think that works oh wow shit. <laughs> yep i guess you i don't know do you fail to like scribble the talisman at time or does it just feel to activate like what goes wrong he said he didn't have uh, any before it's not what is it I used to seal it's not talismans for sealing uh. seal demon talisman that's what it says yeah it's for sealing demon this is like closing portals which is banished demon so it's a ritual let's close the portals so I can imagine in my tired state I I've got to start a very long chant with motion for the ritual and I stand in an inappropriate spot where the ground slightly caves in so I lose my balance and fall over. Right, yeah. And so delaying the close of the portal by until I can get up and restart. And the, the tiredness just basically pulls the rug out from under your feet with it. Yep. 
Yep, oh. the, the pack just lunges through the portal one by one and they're kind of standing in a semi-arc, growling and sniffing as they like catch the scent of you all. And uh, they're going to lunge at Raz because he's definitely going to be the closest, so Raz, you want to roll defense. Armor does apply. Well, let's see, I've got the... I don't have armor, but I have natural armor. If you have natural armor, that'll work, yeah. Had armor, I thought buying your armor was a whole big thing before. It was, but then I remember I uh, gave it to someone in the desert, I think. Oh, you gambled it, that's right. But I still have my uh, th thick hide. I recall, even though you were armor, or wore armor, you were calling Malekith weak for wearing armor. <laughs> yeah. Of course he does. Because I didn't have armor at the time. Um, I don't... Am I... Am I agile or athletic? Uh, only if you have the tag for it. Alright, and then do I have advantage? Oh, I guess I'm not. I'm. There's more than one of them, so I guess not. Actually, there's more than one of them, so you're going to be at disadvantage. Alright, but they're still weaker than I am. Yes, they'll be weaker than you. I got a 12. Yeah, one of them lunges at you and like tries to sink its teeth through your thick hide. Uh, and it's kind of, but to you, it's more like a puppy that's jumped on top of you and looking at your face. I guess I'll, uh... You with a 12? With disadvantage? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently. That means I rolled two 12s. No, I meant you rolled, I meant you rolled three sixes. Yeah. <laughs> Still also very rare. Okay, yes, but the, the one of them jumps on top of you, Raz, and, you know, it's ineffectual as it's kind of rolling around the top of you. Uh, what about the rest of you? He will uh, probably be the last one since he has having the, the hardest time to wake up. I think Dan will probably get up and see that uh, she keeps collapsed and rush to, hit, uh, to his side and try and help. Like, knowing that he has closed the port on the past, that he needs to protect it while he's doing it. So, trying to assist him very much. By doing what? Um, just like if any of the hounds approach him, she'll try to distract them or like, fend them off. Fending them off, how you shoot them? Like shooting at them as they approach and swapping to a dagger if they get too close. Okay, do you want to give me a quick roll? Cool. I have another 12. Yeah, I guess uh, as one of them's like making its way towards uh, Shiki, you just pepper it with arrows and manage to like sink it down. She just, uh, she just kind of stands in front of Shiki and tries to make sure that he's able to get back to his feet. Um, I'm going to keep my distance and I guess I'm going to assist. Not assist, but I guess just cover Phil while he's still in his half-asleep state or whatever's going on with him. So you're so the gonna... same as Jam, just trying to fend them off? Yeah. By throwing daggers, I'm assuming you do. Yeah. You want to make a... Try making an attack roll for me. Okay. I want to make sure that's it working as well. Be... The enemy is what now? Since there's more of them? There's weaker than me still? Yeah, yeah, they will outnumber you. So either you're going to be at disadvantage or they're going to be weaker than you. Or stronger than you, sorry. You can pick one of those two that apply. I'll just do stronger than me. Since there's more of them. 
Yep, you throw out your daggers uh, and you manage to successfully distract them from Shiki and they make their way towards you and one of them leaps towards you. Make a defense roll. So how do you add a wound? Right, so you go to the items thing, to the wounds, and then choose which wound you want. Just drag it onto your sheet. You will not want to take Scarred. That's not something you choose to take. Alright, so I take heavy bleeding. What was the other thing I had to take? A pain or stress? Yes, a uh, pain or stress. Just cry out, I suppose. So when lunges towards you, I'm assuming you're in a tree or upper ground or something, you're always up there, right? Yeah. But being demonic hounds that they are, it just like leaps into the air, um, sinking its teeth sinking into you. Sinking its teeth into you. Causing bleeding. Fee, now what would you, what would you like to do? Good. Now, uh, probably Jokan scream, Russell will walk me up and since I would say that he's in the most danger. I instinctively act as quickly as I I can and rush at the uh, at the beast uh, that's biting Drakan. Going for uh, cutting his head off. Sounds like a quick attack. Um, so now uh, the enemy is. Uh, are we still uh, outnumbered? Yep. Uh, then. So he is either stronger. You, yeah, so either he's stronger or, you're, or you've got disadvantage. Okay. Eight. Yep, you run up and you're slicing it, you say. Yes, yes. Uh, I was going for a head. Yep, you slash along it and it's got this like large um, frill-like collar of uh, bone and skin around its neck. Uh, and you like cleave through that, but you don't get through like the tough hide, the scales that kind of like cover its skin. Uh, you just cover like you just create a big gash between several of them, and the thing like turns around and like yelps in pain. Um, and as it does, it just like projects this kind of like sonic attack, causing your ears to like swell up in pain and for you to lose your balance and drop to the ground. Uh, you want to roll defense. Sure. Uh, I have this new armor that's effective against uh, all. Should I count that in, or this is some kind of magical uh, attack? No, because it's a, like a sand attack. Mm -hmm. So he's stronger than me. Uh, I'm trained, agile, and the enemy has suffered a serious wound. Uh, yeah. No, it's not a wound, just a pain. It was just a pain that took out. Then. So you, have, you can take a pain or a stress from the items directly on the right hand side, drag that onto a character sheet. Uh, pain and the stress. Yep. Uh, sure, I'll I'll take. Uh, I'm crying out in pain. Um, and uh, I I freeze up for a moment and uh, since I rolled a 10 I, I have this tag it says uh, whenever I roll a, a 10 or, or more uh, I have uh, instinctively counter counter attack okay so I'll make another attack uh, again he's stronger and um, yeah I'm being careful this time Slow and steady. A 10. Yep, that is enough to put that one down. Like, is your kind yeah, of attack? It's... Yeah, where you've already slashed it and you like stab into the, the opening you created in the skills. Yeah, I, I, I froze for a moment, but then I... Uh, I uh, stayed composed and went for another slice. And, uh, you're you're standing there at the bottom of the tree, dead beast in front of you, and Drakan blood running down the his leg in the tree, 
this Aedra. Alright, Raz, what do you do? You see Desmond off to one side and Grant took off to the other side, kind of like fighting uh, separate hounds themselves. But you have this one on top of you trying to bite into your thick hide, what do you do? I'm gonna... I want to bite it back. <laughs> Raz, I'm just gonna... Raz is just gonna grab it, hold it up, and just yell, You bite me, I bite back. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that is forceful. Uh, an approach? Uh, it'll be an attack. Alright. Since they're all, uh, the enemies are all spread out, do I still have disadvantage? Uh, one on one like that? No, I don't think so. Alright. Uh, yeah, you go eye bite back and you sink your teeth into its thick hide, uh, like crushing the scales between, beneath, between your teeth. And as you do so, for anyone that would be watching, its head just kind of like splits in half into two heads. So that it's got a head on either side of where you've bitten into it. And then it just like attacks you from both sides at once with both heads just like biting into the side of your skull. No real defense. This is worth it. <laughs> right now it's like two puppies licking your face, I guess. The two of them bite your horns and your thick hide and your thick skull, which we all know you have. And you just While seem I'm trying to bite them back. Yeah, and you just seem impervious to any of their attack. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jam, you can see Grint Hook like really like fending off one of them, and it's uh, it's like trying to grab him by the thigh and drag him back through the portal. And he uh, looks over to you and he's like, "Help me, you stupid tree!" <laughs> Uh, I will try to help him. I'll focus on that one then. So, uh, but I think uh, I'll try to line up a, a shot to make sure I don't hit him, but I'll not mm -hmm. pepper him with shots. Okay, consider it. Uh, and would it be equal or stronger at the moment? I guess equal. Uh, yeah, your uh, your arrow puts one down through the head as you take the careful shot, and it drops to the ground, still holding Grant Hook in the jaws of the dead body. Uh, but the other one that was kind of rounding the side of Desmond leaps over him and bounds towards where Shiki is. Shiki, what do you do? Uh, well, Shiki has just been getting up. He was after falling down to the floor. Uh, he was just carefully getting ready. Get in position ready to start trying to seal the portal again. Um, this this may just be the sleep deprivation talking, but could we escape through that? You want to escape into the demon realm? <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go it's to where the demon realms are coming from. <laughs> <laughs> well, get rid of the nin the ninjas at least. I mean, yeah, nothing bad happens in the demon realm. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't recommend that suggestion, Melinda Jam. <laughs> You're the expert. Uh, Shiki, you want to make my roll for your casting? Yeah, okay. I'm preparing carefully this time. Uh, cast a spell, I believe, so. So it's just however much mana you spend on it. Alright. I'm definitely not going to have advantage or anything because the situation. No. Oh. We do manage to pull off the ritual, even though it takes time and effort. So, I mean, you're the one making the emphasis of time here. Do you think there's another round before it triggers? I would say it'd take at least an all round to close it. If anyone gets injured yeah. in this round, you can blame him because I was happy to let it just happen. Because <laughs> it's closing a portal to the demon realm, it's literally the way it's done. I've got to channel a manja into a string that connects to myself to the portal and then essentially sew it up. That's how I close a portal. All it's right. not just like, oh, do a little dance and slaps closed. It's sure. Jack, so you get bitten, uh, you hear Grinhook's <laughs> cries, and then it just kind of drops in front of him. You see another one leaping over towards Shiki. What do you do? 
All right, so one of my shadow walk abilities, it's like I don't have to take my whole body through. I can just like yeah, reach it on through, and then I'll appear someone else. So I'm just gonna attack the one leak, leaping at Tiki using his own shadow, but not like not moving my whole body, just yeah. my arm, yeah. I guess. Okay, so attack roll. The benefit of this is going to be if it gets to make a move or do any damage as a consequence, it's not going to be you that takes it because you've just got an arm sticking through it. Will this still be considered uh, equal or stronger than me? I think stronger than, unless you want to take the disadvantage. Well, I'm leaving it at that. Can I re-roll that? Uh, for your professional, yeah, you could. Yeah. Right, let's try that again. Nope. Sorry. Damn. Okay. Yep, you attempt to, but uh, you fail to do so. Shiki, you're still going to get off the cast, but just as you're like finishing it or getting the last few words out, this beast just like lands on top of you and tears into you. You like roll defense. So the enemy as. So is the enemy stronger or weaker? I do not have armor. It will be equal to you because you're both magical. And it's just one, so it's not over. Period. So you take a pain and a stress, and then you can describe how your banishing spell works and suck them all away. Yeah, so it's. Uh, as soon as the portal's like finally closed, it's almost like. The... The last bit of hole just sucks the energy out from them. They just dissipate and collapse, like, like into husks. So they, they were only. But as literally as it won the. Uh... What was this going to so... I see this one jumping at me as I'm literally trying to start panicking, panicking, oh, unsure. I get the final spell if it lands on me. Falling down this, fall down, almost forgetting where I am, and just out of the sheer exhaustion, just faint. And the stress. I think that's the list of stress items. So the one that's biting at Raz, and Raz is trying to bite back, or just uh, it just vanishes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're just frolicking basically, and then <laughs> it just kind of like ceases uh, to move, and its its whole body just starts to like. Fleck and flake and blow away in the wind. Aw, the puppies are gone. Uh, which pain stress you taking, Shuggy? Uh, loose footing. It's a pain. Collapse as it lands on top of me, and I'm gonna literally faint from it. It was sheer exhaustion. So that's what frees up again. For, no, I, for the stress that you take. Yeah, it's a pain and a stress it was, was it? Yeah, a pain, pain and stress. stress. Alright, so it was loose footing at... I'll just go... No, I'll do it twice by accident then. And... The stress... Uh, frees up. Oh, panic, essentially, that's why I panicked and fell over. So I am four stresses right now. <laughs> Five in total, just... it would be, yep. Yeah, I am going to fall unconscious at the moment from just all this the stress and all the panic and, like... <laughs> and just how tired I am. And with that, quiet. As the... Uh... The, de the demons just like cease to kind of exist and fade out of our reality. Grant to it, like, yanks. Well, he doesn't have to yank because it's disappearing, but kind of just pulls his leg out from underneath this thing and kind of limps over. Uh, not a word of thanks to Jam as he does so. God damn it, how many more times do we do this shit? That's kind of why I asked if you had any ideas.
this is this is too much. I mean, if we have ten more days to reach another city, if it's ten days of this, uh, I wonder if there's a way if these demons, whoever is in charge, maybe if we can have a word with whoever is in charge. Yeah, sure. We'll just call up uh, old friend Maliki. Have a, have a chat with him. Are you sure? I mean... Yeah, yeah, I'm positive. Okay. <laughs> so, what you're saying is that Maliki, the big bad boy, he's the one sending these dogs? Well, yeah, if it wasn't for dumbass over here, and he chaps a thumb over it, Raz. I see. Uh, okay. If we want to call him, we need blood sacrifice. Uh, one of you go get those one of those ninjas. Why the fuck do you want to call him? That's that's what they said they were gonna we were gonna do. Wait, so it was Vaz's fault? Are you saying Gun I can take? Well, he summoned who else? The first demon, demon, didn't he? When he cut I me with that you. tooth thing. Are you sure you two don't want to go off on your own? <laughs> it's like he pulls out a little green vial with like a, a sticker on it that's like skull and crossbones and he peels off the sticker and he throws it over to you, Raz, goes, Raz, just drink this. Okay. Just chugs it back. Usually he has a look of anticipation and glee on his face as he's watching Raz drink one of his concoctions. But this time he's just like sat there with his hand like against his curled up fist. Just like, please. Please, please, this time. For a second, Raz just chokes. <coughs> his eyes, fine. His eyes lay up for just a moment. Oh, went down the wrong, uh, the wrong pipe there. No, I don't have any ideas. Okay. <laughs> uh, Shiki's gonna wake from the normal noise and racket. Uh, uh, even uh, getting rid of Raz. And Gruntuk might not get rid of the demon hounds, even though both of them are marked. Some of us might have been tainted at the time of the ritual to... Oh. Desmond, who is putting his daggers away, just kind of turns around. He tends to be quite quiet for the most part. He's like, well, they're definitely tracking one of us, at least. Oh. Raz is the one that pissed off Malekith, but Gruntuk's blood is also part of the ritual, so they've both been marked. Uh, I'm gonna uh, blocking myself. talismans don't last long. I tried the blocking talisman a few days ago on Raz. It didn't work. It didn't last. Or at least it didn't last. Malekith is way too strong. What if to, we try to... Uh, what if we try to transfer the curse to another living animal and let it run off into the wilderness? Gentuk just slowly turns his head to look at Jam. Like, you don't want is, it to run off. We need a, a mage strong enough to mo manipulate his mark and somehow maneuver it to someone else without Malekith even noticing. If it was Malekith himself, would he not have sent something stronger than this? Well, Malekith's like an entire continent away, though. Yeah, maybe he's busy. Yeah. He sent that eyeball creature. No, Raz summoned that eyeball creature. That's where we got the mark. Uh, I wish I could remember everyone that thing touched or saw. We could maybe find out where the mark is or something. Ugh. Mm. Why don't we start killing everyone off one at a time? And when they stop coming, we know that was him. That's a great do idea. You do know, Lord Stabenbach, that you would be the first person to be. Why me? <laughs> I didn't do it. Because your blood was used to sacrifice to summon the Malachis servant. You're always picking You're on me, Shiki, you goddamn human piece of shit. <laughs> 
I mean no disrespect to your Lord Stabbing back, but that is the truth. You and Raz are the two. I don't need to listen to this. And he like walks off into a shadow. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It's probably me. I'm just gonna look at Seeky. It could also be yourself that he's tracking. May not even be a uh, magical mark on Raz and Gruntuk. And the monarch influence here is fee. This heavy bleeding works here, but I'd like it to stop. The dragons of light are enemies of Malekith. He is connected to them. That could be why he's tracking. Uh, there's too many possible reasons. We can't eliminate them. Uh, sorry, Jack, are you seeing a bit of bleeding and looking at Jab? Kind of yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, like, does anybody got any healing as I look at the only person who has healing here? <clears throat> I can give it a try. I know this may not go well, but I don't think bleeding <laughs> out is going to go well for me either. So it'll be fine. Um, pick your poison. That's poor choice of words. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what are my options? Oh, magical or boring. Magical or boring. What? What do boring? <laughs> It's how do you roll for regular medicine again? Is it bandages or something you got? Yeah. I think they're just are they not just to just heal one. If yeah, I remember just... right, you it's a one d four by itself, but if you need to heal more, you have to roll for it. I think. And one d four is more than enough. Yeah, 1d4 yeah, seems like one. a lot. Only way, because if you get a success, you get like 2d4 and pick highest or something, right? So just pick an approach, make an approach roll. Uh, well, careful would make sense. A powerful success. I don't know what that means. Uh, 1d4. So do slash r 1d4. So, up to three wounds. So, is the disadvantage of that that you can't do it during combat? Because otherwise that's just as strong yeah, as a, yeah. a healing potion, yeah. So, what, so that, that's wounds. What about the pain I have? Would that also go away or do I have to deal with that? How many wounds did you have? Just the one. So, after the one wound is healed, then it can heal two pains. Uh, hey, I'm just keep that stress, but that's okay with me. Uh, stress has got to be uh, rest, usually. I think Rest's the magical area, okay. can do stress, I think that's kind of the bonus. But it can't sort of slow down, yeah. That, oh, almost, what is that almost never happens. What are the odds of that happening? <laughs> so do we just go back to sleep, or do we just start traveling now? How much longer does your spell last? You could rest for another hour, which would give you all back one pain and one stress. Uh, Don't you mana back? I desperately need more rest? sleep. You would refresh your mana at that point, yes. Mana refreshed, thank you. I'll take that hour's rest. Yep. You can drop a stress and a pain. <laughs> do, we, do we stop, drop this magical stress? 